What's up, everybody? Welcome to Podcast Now. I'm Alex, and in this video, I want to talk about why I hope Life is Strange 3 isn't political, or it's kind of a, a beg to Deck 9. If they're watching this, please, I beg you, do not make Life is Strange 3 political. Now, this does get into some controversial waters. There's there's zero you know way around it. I'm going to dance you know on it and around it as um you know as as delicately as I possibly can. And I think the biggest thing to remember before we get too far in, not the subscribing stuff, although you could obviously do that, but the biggest thing to remember is that these are opinions. If you disagree, if you have a different political opinion, which I'm not really gonna even go too much into that, but if you disagree, if you think differently, totally, totally cool. I, unlike many other YouTubers, unlike Hollywood, unlike the gaming industry, and actually welcome to other ideas, okay? Uh, and so it's okay if we disagree. And that's kind of the point. That's what I'm going to lean into quite a bit, I would say, with this video. So before I get too far in, like I said earlier, make sure you guys are subscribed, bell icon turned on so you know all these videos go up. And if you guys really like my content, I do have a second channel. It's called Podcast Now Plus. The link for that's in the description below if you guys want to check it out. So look, if you guys know me from Life is Strange, not just from the past you know, couple months I've been talking about this game, but years ago, you know, I covered Life is Strange. I, I, I've said it before. I've covered Life is Strange. I've covered Before the Storm, Farewell episode, Life is Strange 2. I've covered every single episode. And Life is Strange 2, you know, the channel wasn't very big at the time, but I, I think I was kind of well known as a... a a lot of people hated me. Let's just say that. I think a lot of people hated me, and it's because I had a lot of problems with Life is Strange 2. Now, again, it doesn't matter if you love the game, if you hated the game. That's It's totally fine. Whatever you guys think, I'm, I'm completely okay with. But I had a lot of problems with it, and one of my main problems with it was that it was very, very political, but not just political because... I know back then when I said it, I know even maybe even right now, because things in, in some ways have gotten worse in politics, you know, from, from then to now. People will say, well, you know, you, you're, 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 you advocate for free speech and, the, you know, the idea that you can do whatever you want, but then you have a problem if they do, you know, if they kind of do that in their game. Well, my problem is, number one, it took away from the, the actual base game. I don't think there's any way around that. Number two, they painted everything. Whether you agree or disagree with the politics of Life is Strange 2, they painted it one way and one way only. And I just don't think that's the way to do it in anything. That's, you know, again, it doesn't even matter what you believe in. It doesn't matter what I believe in. It doesn't matter what, what political spectrum we, you know, were in. What I care about personally is hearing other people. If you just go, if you're in an echo chamber, which is what a lot of these people are, if you're in an echo chamber, nothing's changing. You're just being reinforced by people who believe the exact same thing as you, and you end up kind of going into a la-la land of your own. Now, that can happen to Republicans, Democrats, that can happen to, if, if you don't even side in a party, it can happen to anybody. If you surround yourself with people that just think like you and just support that, and you don't even ask questions or even consider other things, then you're, you're stuck. You're stuck. And that, without a doubt. And if you don't believe this, that's the part where it's just like I, I, you, I think you, I think people will throughout time. I think people are opening their eyes. If you don't see that Hollywood, if you don't see that the entertainment industry, and by by the way, gaming isn't necessarily in there, but they're very closely related. The gaming industry is very much an echo chamber. We've seen that with Hogwarts Legacy. We've seen that with really anything political. If you disagree. You're getting fired. You're getting you're getting blacklisted. You're getting whatever. It's happened to many people in the gaming industry. It still happens. I know people. Uh, like you can go on and on and on and on. The gaming industry, like Hollywood, like sports, like all that stuff, it's an echo chamber of the same. And now it just happens to be like liberals, like left, right, Democrats. But again, I'm not saying that's bad or they're bad. I'm saying that's just generally what they are. And if you speak out against it, Gina Carano, uh, even people like Matthew McConaughey or Keanu Reeves, who think a little, or Rus Russell Brand, if you think a little bit differently, you're, I mean, you are different, and you will be looked at very different in that industry. So that's again, like that's that's obviously going a little bit off uh, topic, but it really isn't because Life is Strange 2 fell into that. Life is Strange 2 was don't nod. Now that's a big difference. Deck 9 has only made Before the Storm, which had zero political things in it whatsoever. And Life is Strange 1 had zero political things either. Now, yes, you dealt with you know women with each other, which is absolutely fine. Again, I, I really love the relationship between Max and Chloe, but that's, I would say, not political. You have, you have the, I don't want to say certain words, you had people, uh, you know, self-deleting, let's call it that, right? You had stuff like that. You had uh, problems with drugs and, and, and things like that. I mean, you had some very controversial, right? Some like some R-rated stuff or M-rated, you know, whichever, if you want to go movies or games. You had some pretty dark stuff in that first game. But again, nothing 
was really all that political. It was about the characters. It was about the story. It doesn't matter. I don't care what they believe in, right? But that's the thing. Life is Strange 2, and Before the Storm, by the way, was the same way. Life is Strange 2 completely failed. Life is Strange 2 was, the wall is bad. We're literally going to blow it up. Let's not talk about the opposite side of it. Whether you agree or disagree with it, let's not even mention it because that side doesn't even exist or we hate them. Let's talk about immigrants. Let's not talk about the other side of it. Let's portray every single person in the game as they're, they're always anti. Like, if you look Mexican, you're immediately going to get attacked. Let's make everybody that's in that region, let's just make them racist. Okay, and that's what that game did. Now, I think that's because Don't Nod, which is a French developer, doesn't really know anything about America. And I, I, I would take direct shot, and I said that back then. I think, people, I think people generally understood where I was coming from. They don't really know all that much about America, which, how could they? They're not from here. But they want to pretend that they do, and they want to make political statements. And so they want to show what they believe America is, but they're not going to actually show it, right? They're going to show their their framed vision of it. So to me, there are a lot of problems with Life is Strange 2. I never connected to Sean and Daniel. I didn't like using the force to move rocks as my main power. I didn't like babysitting Daniel, right, nonstop. I didn't like him acting whiny. The villains were terrible. Like I can go on and on and on of the reasons I didn't like the game, but one of the biggest things that always stuck out, I mean, Episode 5 was literally about the wall. That's what the game was. The, the, the episode was literally about the wall. And when you have a game that does that, that's fine. This is the part where I, I, I want you guys, hopefully you've made it this far. This is an important part. If you want to make a game like that, go for it. You have every right to, no big deal. When you make it a Life is Strange game, you make a Life is Strange game. You don't make a, you know what I mean? And that's, that's what happens when there's like recasting in Hollywood or when you do gender swaps or when you use existing properties, but you do something entirely different, but you're just using the name. Honestly, it is like that. Even uh, I look at a, a different example going to the movie industry is Margot Robbie, Pirates of the Caribbean. It's a female centric, which is fine, Pirates movie. But you know what? You can make that whatever you want. But you know what they're going to do? Which we already know this. It's going to be called Pirates of the Caribbean. It's a Pirates of the Caribbean film. Why? Because they know that they're not original enough to do stuff on their own to actually make these females powerful and like a good character. They'll just make them female and we'll have to like them because they're females. And they'll milk the, the name Pirates of the Caribbean. That's how they're going to get people to see this movie because it's a Pirates of the Caribbean film. They could make it a different title, but they would lose that name. They'd lose the brand. they lose the Disney stuff, which is massive, right? Absolutely massive, and they can't do that. It's the, Now, again, different, you know, obviously movies, games, different stuff, but games, honestly, kind of the same thing. Don't Non wanted to tell a political tale of two brothers, okay, that were trapped, that were basically runaways, okay, and they were looked at differently by these different people. That's fine. But you know what that sounds like to me? Not a Life is Strange game. It doesn't sound... And I said that. Back when Life is Strange 2 was out, I made a video and I said, is Life is Strange 2 even a Life is Strange game? And I meant that because it didn't feel like one. The powers were secondary. The characters, they were just, I mean, I would say personally bad. The relationships, the idea of what Life is Strange even is. I know a lot of people say what they appreciate so much in Life is Strange was the setting. Arcadia Bay was such an important part of what made Life is Strange Life is Strange. Not traveling around the country that didn't make it a life is strange game and i agree if that's what you want to think that's totally cool but that's the point it didn't feel like a life is strange game it felt like they wanted to make political statements which they did and every i mean oh my god they they, they played the donald trump angle they played the wall angle they played the immigration angle they played literally every angle they could have they played the racist angle all that stuff and oh my god they were getting awards left and right people were bowing down at don't nod's feet i remember this i remember there were articles every single day about this game about how great it was and how kind of progressive it was but you know what it's not a Life is Strange game. So I like, I hated it because it's like I didn't – I don't want to play a Life is Strange game to learn one side of the equation of America. In fact, there's more than the, the, just that one side, but Don't Nod doesn't care. So, you know, again, this is kind of a case study, right, because this is what I don't want – to happen in three i don't want the politics and all of just the the white noise it's really all just white noise but it becomes so loud that it takes away from the actual game now to end this this is the very end of the video i do want to say this the positives or what to take away from this number one again if you disagree that's okay i'm sure this video will probably get dislikes and and that's fine obviously people don't want to listen all the way through and hear like how i actually say it because i don't think i'm being unreasonable here number two this is deck nine again deck nine from what we know has done reasonably well with Life is Strange. I don't think they're going to do this. Number three, 
this game, from what we've heard, is going to be going back to a small town setting. Now, that doesn't mean they're not going to handle political issues, but what it does mean is they're staying in one area. They're probably more focused on the characters. They're probably more focused on making the setting a character of its own, again, like Arcadia Bay, like the school, like all that stuff. They're going to make that a character. And right there, you immediately are very much different than Life is Strange 2. So I would imagine that this game is going to be more safe. I don't know if it's going to be completely safe, but I think it's going to be more safe than Life is Strange 2. At the end of the day, they're the makers of it. They can make whatever uh, they want. I will say, though, we pay. We buy the game. We are the reasons why these companies stay open. We have the right to complain. So I don't think there's anything wrong with if they do it. I, I don't think there's necessarily anything wrong there. They have the right to, but there's also nothing wrong with me calling it out and saying, again, this is not a Life is Strange game. Make your own game, title it whatever you want, but this isn't Life is Strange. You're going, you're trying to milk the name because the first game was so successful and nobody really thought it was going to be because it was such a small thing, but it was so successful. You're keeping the name, but you're doing something completely different with it. And yes, you do want to have changes. I'm not saying literally make every game the exact same game, but when you make it something that's flat out, now, if you do a Pirates movie and you're making it a sci-fi, like a Star Wars thing, well, it's not a Pirates movie. You can do it and you can call it Pirates of the Caribbean in space, but it wouldn't be Pirates. You know what I mean? And, and that's kind of the case here. Obviously, it's a little bit of a different example. And I know I always say that, but it's, sometimes people don't, don't get uh, my analogy. So let me know, guys, in the comments below, what do you think? Do you think that it should stay away from politics? Do you think it should focus maybe heavily on politics? Let me know. As always, make sure you guys are subscribed. Bell icon turned on so you know when all these videos go up. Again, if you want to subscribe to my second channel link for that is in the description below i try to do a new video every single week we keep hearing rumors that the next game is getting announced really soon probably within the next month or so so we're gonna have plenty of new stuff to talk about very very soon okay thank you all for watching i hope to see you all on the next video